personally want to show from about that day? Um, I wanted to be able to show me the skills off the run and uh, my leadership skills and I feel like I did both of those things. Who on offense impressed you the most today out there? Offense most today? I thought it was a question. Yeah, he, he, uh, he had some really nice balls earlier in the, in the uh, first half and uh, he jumped out of his hands, so I kind of proud of him. He bounced back a uh, I, think, I think we'll both be beanie weenies. <laughs> but I, 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 pretty, I prefer I prefer beanie weenies over uh, steak and lobster. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beanie weenies over You were saying, um, you know, everyone's always talking about Jordan Davis and the role that he was left behind and not being able to fill. But how do you not kind of compare yourself to him and just be Zion? Uh, you know, people are going to try to put things on you, but I, wanna, I just want to be myself, uh, be my own player, be my own guy. Jordan's a great, Jordan's a great guy. I don't take nothing away from him, but I don't want to be my own self. Uh, I just, just lead my own way. Did you get a look at these rings on the Jumbo Tron? Uh, I got I to gotta look at him uh, on the sideline a little bit. I got I to gotta peek into Kobe, but I ain't get to I ain't get to put it in my hand and see what it really felt like to uh, have one. What do you think uh, about the design? Or, or are you excited to look at it? It looks sweet. Can't wait to can't wait to really hold mine and put it on my hand. Uh, Kirby said today's kind of designed to be a little bit more pass happy, which allows you guys to pin your ears back a little bit. Did you feel that uh, in the way the game played out? Were you expecting that somewhat? Yeah. And uh, I think the the kind of the rules kind of helping a little bit because it's running clock, so we had we got to get in our rest a lot of, a lot earlier. Uh, got to uh, get off the ball. So I think so I think it kind of uh, played a role in today. There's obviously a lot of concern about the defensive line just because of the, the middle of the defense, period, just because of the turnover. How do you feel now as opposed to when you're getting ready to come into the spring about what you've seen and how you guys have performed as a group? Uh, I feel great about it. We just got to gotta fine tune some things uh, throughout the spring, I mean throughout the summer and um, throughout the fall camp. Uh, by the time September th uh, 3rd, uh, we'll be fine and uh, ready to go uh, handle business up in Atlanta. Kirby said he was surprised by the leadership early on in the spring practice. Uh, was there a moment where that kind of showed itself that you guys were ready to be your own team? Uh, I'll say for the defensive line standpoint, it was probably like the third day of practice. We were having a little inside run period, and uh, me and Jalen were out there handling our business. Coach Scott looked at us, and he was like, so we're going to be able to start the run? And we was like, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So what's the spring kind of been like for you guys? Um, just coming after the title, just trying to keep that momentum. Identity. This, that's been the that's been the word of the defense. Just identity. Uh, we gotta go find ourselves. We gotta go show who we are. We can't just say it. Twenty twenty one's over now. Twenty twenty two. What is that identity? Uh, just we're, we're a nasty defense. We, we're swarm to the ball. We get the ball out. We get picks. We get uh, sacks. We get fumbles. We just uh, want to do everything in this uh, stat sheet. So I wanted to ask you, I guess, about the defensive line. Kirby said y'all had had many bad balls this spring. It was a focus, I guess, today. What has that focus been throughout the spring? How did it play out today? Uh, today, uh, Coach Scott made it. He made it. Uh, made it a point. He asked. He answered for for the day started. He was just like, we get a couple bad balls today. It was just uh, something we try to go out and do. We try to uh, every Thursday on a game we we uh, work work a drill called three step quick five, and it just came into play today. When you see guys like Nazir, is it Nazir or Nazir? Nazir. Yeah, Nazir. Nazir, okay. We see guys like him and, and Warren, you know, finally get out there and show what they can do. Yeah. I guess one, just how cool is that for you as older guys that seen them doing practice? Uh, man, it's just, it's, it's fun. It's fun seeing your brothers. I, I can't I can't eat if my brothers falling. So that's that's the thing that we live by in, in the D-line, and it's just fun seeing those guys uh, have fun in there. How do you evaluate, because obviously y'all lost a lot on the defensive front, how do you evaluate what those guys bring to the table as well as other guys like, um, you know, like Tyrion and those yeah. kind of guys? I mean, you, you can't, you can't really, you can't really, uh, hold on. You can't, you can't really, uh, you can't really replace what those guys did. Man. And they said, it's just something like Jordan, Devontae, Trayvon, like they, they were a special asset to this team last year. And we, like guys just got to step up in different aspects, like from run, from run defense to pass game. So it's just got to be a different part of uh, a different level of the game.